Hey guys, Cameron here with Emerson Property Manager. Every week, I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things I want you to build a world portfolio about two years and now manage that portfolio. Woo! Today, I want to talk about the mass exodus from California. So, I have nothing against California, beautiful state. However, California has the largest loss of people uh, in this source, uh, it was News for Investors is the podcast, episode 846. They stated that California had the largest exodus of people. So they looked at all the demographics. Now, this show, they specialize in trying to help people buy a, a single family real estate across the country. They're based in California, but they go all over the country. California had the largest loss of people. And guys, what so simple supply and demand. If you have people moving somewhere, rents go up. Demand, there's only so much housing supply. So as people are moving, demand goes up, prices go up, rents go up, is what I'm getting at. Texas, where were those people going? Where did all these people leaving out of California go? Texas ranked number two in the largest gain of people, followed by Florida and Washington State, which makes a lot of sense, right? You got people moving out of a high-tax, unbusiness-friendly state, They'll just go right up to Washington or they go over to Florida, which has no state income taxes, beautiful weather. And then they have, or they go to Texas, very business friendly, no state income taxes. Now, what were the two cities in Houston? Again, I'm located in Houston. I invest in Ohio and Houston where, and all the properties we manage are in greater Houston. Where do you think these people went that came to Texas? I'm going to tell you, it rhymes with Rooston and Roston. I don't know why I did that, ours, but Houston, Austin are the two cities that saw the largest gain. Now, I think if this would have been done a few years ago, you probably would have seen Dallas in there, AT&T, and there were several large corporations moving all their people to Dallas. But now, I don't know why people are moving to Houston and Austin. Now, Austin, if you guys don't know, I mean, if, if you guys are from Austin or from the Houston area, everybody knows about Austin, but... Austin has a lot of people who are moving in from California. Housing prices, again, this is April 2021 at the time of this recording. Housing prices are on an extreme rise. Uh, people from California are selling their million-dollar two-bed, one-bath bungalow from 1950s, and then they're coming out here buying in Texas. They're buying a half a million-dollar, you know, three five-bed, three-bath, 4,000-square-foot house with a pool and sitting on a, a quarter-acre lot. I mean— so Austin prices are coming up and up and up and up and up. There's bids 50, 100,000 over asking. Crazy. Or offers 100, 150 to 100,000 over asking. Now Houston's a little bit different animal. We have a lot of access to, I mean, we're one of the largest uh, oil. We're, we're, we are known for our oil, right? That's the big thing. That's why I moved here coming up on eight years ago now. I moved here with, uh, with a large oil and gas company. And, but now Houston's economy is a little more diversified. You've got the uh, transportation and shipping channel here. You've got Galveston, Galveston Bay. You have a lot of access to, uh, to other jobs of that nature. Uh, refining, uh, medical in Houston is now phenomenal. And again, as these other states start taxing and taxing and taxing their people or become less and less business friendly, people are coming in. And they're coming to Houston, Dallas, Austin or Florida and Washington were the other two. Now, why do I say this? I think one of those things, uh, or I've seen over the years, right? 2013 was kind of the bottom for the housing market. I saw in 14, 15, 16, I could post a thousand articles about why that we're at the top of the housing market. Here we are eight years later, and we're still, as of right now, we're not at the top. So there's more people coming, that is great for us. That is great for the economy. That is great for housing. That is great for rents. People move here. They want to live. They want to live here, or they want to rent for a year or two, get a feel of the city, and then buy. So it's great for rental market. So I get questions a lot about, well, what do you see happening? I don't know what's going to happen. I do not have a clue if the housing market's going to crash. I have no clue about what's going to happen with rents. But what I do know is, you buy an asset today that cash flows a long-term buy and hold rental that cash flows from day one. The demographics 
And all the data is saying that that's gonna to continue to cash flow as rents get increased and you take care of the property. So that's all guys. Um, again, I'll post this, this link. It's uh, News for Investors. It was episode 846. That's Kathy Fecky, I think is her name, uh, who posts that show but, or hosts that show. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, comment below, shoot me an email, whatever, and I'll see you all next week. Thank you.